Alright, welcome back. We are under Junon, and we're gonna figure out what's going on with the frogs. This should be interesting. Ribbit! Oh. Uh, hello? Hey, what do you think you're doing here? The hell? This is a no grown up zone. Get lost! You're a kid? Well, duh. It's just how this place is. I don't know if it's because of the reactor out there or what, but hanging out here turns you into a frog. Hey, Finn, who are they? Not Shinra, I hope. Oh, no, we're definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's oh, he likes her. There's a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing jump frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? <laughs> Help us! <laughs> Come on, Cloud. I tried to warn you! Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog! But don't worry, all you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine! Rip it, rip it. <laughs> It greatly reduces your combat capabilities. In this state, you can only use standard attacks, the HP restoring bubble breath, and the leaping leapfrog abilities. To remove the side effects, you either use them or items from some kits or remedies. Do I have any? No, I don't. Eat my grenade. Oh my god. Oh my god, they are kicking my ass. What the fuck? <laughs> Too bad I don't have fucking Kuzan out yet. Oh my god, fuck these guys. That was kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Thanks for that. So, ready to play? Come on, I love it. I promise. Ready? Ready. Okay. Here are the rules. So, Leo, our incoming officer was on dash. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is basically Fall Guys. Oh, 
Oh my god, that was a terrible jump. What the fuck? Okay, so I can't jump too early. Alright, I already made it faster than last time. Uh oh, no. At least I got the target time. Jesus. What a ridiculous game. I've played worse. Anyway, thanks again for your help. You can come back again if you want. You looked like you were having fun. I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Rip it, rip it. Hey! Rip it. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> well, the combat wasn't that great, but the game was fun. Alright, now we've done everything except for the Queen's Blood. So let's see what we gotta do to get up here. We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep, it should just say no climbing. <laughs> so we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone, but then. Squeak, squeak! I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! <laughs> we're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise! <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> awesome. All right, then. Now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all <laughs> over it, Merc. <laughs> Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Yep, everything I need. Is that like a racing course over here? Here, Mr. Dolphin, the beach balls he loves so much to get him excited and speed up. If you're swimming fast enough, by the time you reach the goal, he will be able to launch Cloud up to the control room. Okay. Come on, Cloud! You got this! missed. 
Oh, I missed again. Oh. Oh shit. I missed. Ow. I'm not gonna make it. I don't think so. Nope. Oh my god, this is this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Junin, finally, Junon. Oh, look at look at the high wind. Oh my God, the cannon. Oh, the high wind. It's beautiful. Starts back. I thought he died. Hmm. Of course, Heidegger is annoying as hell. Let's 
move. Alright, we are finally in Junon. I'm so excited. Treasure chest. Vending machine. Soldier's not gonna do anything about you. Just some random people walking up. Look at that cannon! Oh my god. Wow. Less security than I thought. More worried about the parade? Huh. Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. And they're definitely not here. Let's head into town. We cannot let Midgar win. Not on our own. So are these Shinner soldiers? Any idea what that is? Oh, the high oh. Shinra's pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Oh my it's god. Cool. Let's take that. Yeah. Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. So cool. There we go. That's where I wanted to go. I just like how we're just like here. Just they're letting people do whatever. Oh, look at that. No. We'll leave them be. For now. So does he know that we're here? I would expect so. Enter. Song. An emissary from Wutai is here. Sent by Viceroy Saruth. Oh? He introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. I didn't play Ever Crisis or First Soldier. It has something to do with that. And I don't remember much of Crisis Core. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had 
big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you. I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. <laughs> you always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right, beget anger. Desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. I have no idea who that is. Alright, so now that we're in the aerodrome, we're up in Junin. Um, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, that way we can fully explore this in the next episode. So thank you for tuning in, and I'm excited that we're finally here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.